Hey everyone, I'm Danny and welcome to Muggle Magic. Today we're going to be making Salazar Slytherin's Locket. Horcruxes are actually one of the most requested things that I find in the comments from you guys, so I figured let's make a horcrux so let's do the slytherin locket this was actually one of the horcruxes which uh, voldemort used as he tore his soul apart so that's fun it took me a while to kind of figure out how i was going to do this and do it in a way that was easy for people to do at home without like really expensive equipment <laughs> or anything or really expensive you know um supplies and stuff. This is my first DIY of the new year. So yeah, this is, I'm ho hopefully this is a good one for just to kick the year off with. Um, happy 2020, everybody. Go ahead and check out the description box below for a list of supplies you're gonna need, as well as the free downloadable templates, and let's get started. To make this DIY, you're going to need a few things. First of all, you're gonna need the templates. And I designed these, uh, these are already scaled to size for my in particular locket that I have but I'm going to include ones that are just kind of like larger, um, like have more bleed around the edges and stuff so that no matter what your locket looks like, you're gonna be able to cut it out to size. There's gonna be plenty of, of texture around the edges is what I mean. So there, you won't have white in there. Anyways, I scaled mine to size on my computer and pasted it into a document and just printed it there, which you could do if you have like Photoshop or GIMP or something and you, you know how to do that, that is probably the best way to do it, just to sort of crop out the area that you don't need and then print it to size. The locket that I found isn't perfect. I mean, it's a rectangle rather than like that, uh, an uh, octagonal shape, um, but it does open, it has glass on both sides and it's kind of similar and it does have sort of an oct um, octagonal shape if you take into account the corners here and stuff. So, I mean, I think this is gonna work pretty well for, for what it needs to be. So I've printed the front and back of the locket as well as green square textures, and these are like green felt textures. So you could use real felt, which I do have some real green felt that you, that you could use on the inside, which I'm going to try to use that, but I'm just worried that there's not gonna be a whole lot of room in there. If your locket is a bit thicker and maybe the glass is a bit thinner or if you take the glass out even, you could probably fit the felt in there better. But uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. If the actual felt doesn't work, I'm going to use just the printed green felt texture to give it that look. So first of all, we need to cut out all of our pieces, obviously. Um, you can do this with a ruler and X-Acto knife or scissors if you have a very, very steady hand. Um, I also have this swivel cutter, which is really nice. I'm gonna be using that in just a, a minute, but first I wanna get these cut out. You could um, glue it to the front of the locket on the inside like that so it's behind the glass um, it looks a little deep in there to me, and I kind of want it to be a bit closer to the surface, so I'm going to cut it to size and glue it to the outside of the locket like this. So what I need to do that is, okay, so the, the green S is going to be the front of the locket. This is the cover of the locket. So it's going to go here, and now I need to cut the edges out on the inside where all that is. And this is where my swivel detail blade is going to come into play. So this blade, I'll give you a little example of what it can do. So if you put your finger through right here to hold it sort of like a pen or a pencil, as if you were drawing, you can just cut really fluid shapes out of paper like this. It's almost like drawing with a blade. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put the um, front of the locket where I want it. In fact, let me put a piece of white paper down so you can sort of see what I'm doing here better. So I'm going to sort of push this in where I would be gluing it and sort of fold where these edges are that I need to cut off and just get it in there as tight as you can. And then I'm going to take my swivel detail blade and try and cut just right along that edge. And yeah, it, it worked pretty well. So I'm going to do that on all four edges. So 
So once I glue that down, that's kind of what the locket is going to look like on the outside. But before we do that, we need to also cut the back out as well. And so now I have the back cut out as well. And now it is just a matter of gluing it on. So now I just went ahead and I used a glue stick and I glued the front and back onto the outside of the locket. Um, you could also glue them onto the inside. However, I noticed that glued onto the inside, there's a, at least the one that I got, it has sort of like a thicker glass. So it looked like it was really deep in there. And there's a reason why I glued this on the outside instead because of that. And I will show you in just a moment. First, let's focus on getting the inside lined with green. So I'm going to use the uh, green squares that I've already cut out sort of as a guide here. And then I'm going to use that to cut this felt out. All right, so now I have two felt squares, two paper squares. Let's decide which ones work best. So that felt square just barely fits in there because it's so thick. So unfortunately, I'm not going to use the felt. Yeah, I'm just going to have to go with the paper for the texture on the inside for now. So now it's time to glue the interior green felt texture onto the inside of the locket. And I just thought, alternatively, you could have printed these off on sticker paper instead of gluing them, and that would have worked just fine as well. And there we go. So now we have the green felt texture on the outside, or I'm sorry, the green felt texture on the inside, and then the Slytherin locket design on the outside. Now there's just one last step, and this step is optional, but I have some green plastic gems here, and these are the smallest ones on this side that I could find. I, I was really hoping for something smaller, but this is why I didn't want to glue this on the inside, because I wanted the gems to be touching the design, and if I had glu glued it on the inside, if you had looked at it at an angle, you could tell that there's a big thick piece of glass between the gems and the design. So I'm just going to take three of these gems and glue them right in the middle of this S on top of the actual printed gems on there so that they kind of are part of the locket. So I also have some gem tack that I'm going to use for the gluing. And you just want a tiny little bit on the outside here. Oh, this is going to be really difficult working with such a tiny little gem. I have to use my X-Acto knife to help me. There we go. You can also use your X-Acto knife to help sort of position it exactly where you want it. Just make sure you wipe the glue off of the, of the blade. And when you're done, you should have something like this with the three gems in the middle. If you can find little tiny gems to just line this whole thing with, that's really what I wanted to do, but I couldn't find any that were that small. And then we've got our back, and if you open it up, you have the green felt texture on the inside or the actual green felt. And then one last detail, I've also printed the uh, RAB letter. So um, I'll include this in the template downloads as well, but if you fold it, you're gonna fold it in half once if you use this, and you're going to fold it in half another time like that, and then you're going to fold it one more time in half diagonally so that it's like a little sort of uh, triangle. And if that won't fit, you can actually just go ahead and fold it one more time diagonally. And so yeah, this definitely would not have fit with the, uh, <laughs> with the felt in there, but it, def it does fit without the felt, so yeah. There we go, we have our locket, it's got the three gems, um, and then on the inside we have the letter and the green felt texture. So that is how you do a very simple, easy um, Slytherin locket. I hope you guys liked this DIY, it was really fun for me to make. If you wanna see more DIYs like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel as well as like the video if you liked it. If not, let me know why in the comment section below. Also let me know down there what Horcrux you'd like me to do next. And if you'd like a chance at winning this uh, Slytherin locket that I made in this video today, there is a giveaway link in the description box below. Um, so go ahead and just click that link uh, for the monthly giveaway. Remember, I get a lot of ideas for these DIYs that I do from your comments. So if you have an idea for something that you want to see me do in the future, definitely leave a comment below and let me know. If you're interested in seeing more DIY videos having to do with Harry Potter and more, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.